Welcome everybody, we are starting into our ESO housing hike. This is casually touring player houses in the Elder Scrolls Online, seeing the cool things that you can do with the houses, with the furnishings, creativity and design. You can do amazing, infinite things. Awesome. I'm J. Hart Ellis, I'll be your tour guide as we visit 12 houses today on the PCNA server. This is something I stream live each week at twitch.tv slash jhartellis. Do it for both PCNA and PCEU. On Fridays, always welcome to join during the live stream, or if you're watching on the YouTube VOD, please subscribe. That helps a lot. Okay, we have 12 houses on PCNA. Good group today. We are starting with Airy Summers, Moon Mirth. We've been going to a couple of Airy Summers homes each week. They've, they've been going with this, like, wedding theme. It's actually what I used for my thumbnail last, last time. Um, I liked it. They had a barn wedding. So this is a little bit of different. We have a Kajiti wedding hall. Ooh. Oh, it's different. So, really? Man, that chandelier. <laughs> this is 200 items. Does it have a court? No, it doesn't have a courtyard. Okay, this is, this is Moon Mirth. Wedding hall for a Khajiit. Man, the creativity here is awesome. So, if you're not super familiar with ESO housing, there are thousands of different furnishings that you can use. And the cool thing about the housing editor is that you can combine them however you want. So, you can mush things together, or you can sink things into the walls, into the floors, and just kind of have parts of the furnishings visible. And so, like, these are some tops of some wardrobes or bookcases, and just has that little bit of a interesting edge at the top. And so that's just really what they wanted here to have this cool little lantern holder, have this wedding wedding feel. And then this custom chandelier up above using all the hourglasses, the Kajiti, Kajiti lantern. So this is cool. I love the chandelier. Um, okay. I like how there's like a lot of thought that's gone into this as far as like what is the ceremony process like? Why why is there a divider here? And then what do all these different things up here really represent? Maybe they're actually used um, as part of the ceremony. Or maybe these are just offerings. And then a lovely bench for maybe the bride and groom to sit at. So a Kajiti wedding. I don't know if we know much about Kajiti lore. Ooh. Oh, this is oh, this is lovely. I didn't even see this come going the other way. It's so a solitude hand mirrors and it's kind of like they're just you know some medallions that are hanging down there they kind of swing in the breeze a little bit twist around that's really clever oh yeah and then as far as going with the kajiti look on this it's the color scheme good red gr green and gold palette great this is awesome I can't believe that they did this with 200 items. Um, gilded edge and some orcish seals down below. Kind of ties this all together. Oh man, this is this is really well done. <laughs> Great way to start here. Oh my gosh, I don't know why. I st I, I need to maybe ask Aries why why they keep adding so many wedding houses. Maybe maybe they have things happening in their life or want to. <laughs> anyway, maybe they just like the styling of it. So a nice wedding wedding hall here. No, here. Okay, all good. Fun place. I think it's fun too. Festive. Great idea. I definitely like the mirrors hanging down. Just twisting them around. You know, it's, not everything has to be perfectly straight up. This this actually kind of gives it a semblance of motion, especially since as you walk around, the mirrors are going to pick up the light in different ways, right? So. It, Kind of looks like they're moving, even though you're moving. Okay. Great way to start. Okay, and we'll continue along with our housing hike with another one from Airy Summer. Cake. <laughs> Divorce house. <laughs> uh, could be fun, too. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. Thank you. Okay, next up, Sugar Bowl Suite. Now, they have a... Another wedding thing. Might tie in with the other one. We'll see, we'll see. 
Sugar Pulse Suite. Small in room. Can only put, what, 30 items in it? 30 items. Oh, I think this is just a signing in for the elsewhere wedding. Maybe I should have started here. So you start here, sign the guest list, I'm assuming. Is that the wedding cake? Is that the Kajiti wedding cake? <laughs> mm, or maybe it's a hat. I think it's a hat. Either Kajit have really small wedding cakes or it's a hat. It's gotta be a hat, right? It's a groom's cake, it's a cake, groom's cake? What the heck is a groom's cake? <laughs> oh no, how, how have I gone this, this long without knowing what a groom's cake is? What? what is, my hair is all weird. Okay, grooms have cakes? Oh man. Hmm. <laughs> this is making decisions at the margins. Uh, make me rethink things. Love the chandelier up above too. Using all the little sconces, kind of facing inward with the with the cage up above. Standard wedding cake is a bread's cake. Are you sure it's a, it's a? It's not a hat, right? It's a very it's a very fashionable hat. I gotta say, if it is a hat. Okay, signing in. Or maybe this is just making it legal. <laughs> sign, sign on the dotted line. Everly says it's often part of the big day for the groom, since most of the rest of the wedding tends to be for the bride. Groom's cakes are often fun shapes for flavors. Can be a bit more silly than elegant. Okay, okay. Today I learned. Okay. I take a nibble. I don't mind if I like eat a petal, right? Okay, we'll keep going along. Fun little place. I like the chandelier, like with the uh, cage is great there. It's actually multiple of them to give it a bit more of a geometric shape. <laughs> Your uncle had a possum cake. Mmm. Lovely, lovely. Okay, oh, next up we have two homes from Swankery. If you don't know Swankery, you gotta know Swankery. Swankery is an amazing builder. Um, not a lot of Swankery over the years. It was one of my big judges for my quick build contests. A lot of Swankery. Okay, Moon Sugar Meadow. They have a Nord home. That doesn't look like a Nord home. <laughs> I think I've, I think I've been here before. Um, through the gate, through the gate. It must be this way. They've managed to do multiple things in this house. I've I previously toured this um, big moving castle. Anyway, we'll just we'll just dwell on this for a couple seconds. I've I've, I've viewed it before, but it's also been showcased on the Neo Live before. So um, I, I think I put some Twitter pics up of it too. Okay, not the theme here, though. Not the theme here, but it's fun to see it again. Swankery, yeah. Okay, let's let's go look at what I was invited to. <laughs> Maybe you can come check that out yourself. I don't know. I, it's, most most of the time, people keep things open. Oh, wow. Swankery has hidden this Nord home over by the water. I'm impressed that she was able to do this with the item limit, considering that she also had the other build. Okay, so we have a Nord... No, wow, there's like a lot going on. I like like a little floating graph. It's kind of like we're bringing in some wood. Maybe building a, another wing of this place. Oh, wow, it's, there's just so much detail here. Do you see this? Like, have like that nice stave look with the sea serpents up above. The water wheel over on the side. Oh, can I actually pick capture all this in a picture. Barely. Such a big build. Oh, my arm. <laughs> there we go. I'll get screenshots along the way. I put those up at spicyeconomics.com. If you need some decoration and inspiration, thousands of pictures of ESO housing up there. Okay, so what is this Nord house about? Oh, there's like this cool little stairway, just angling those just right so you can go up. I, I really like that. It's making good use of the space. Do I go in here? 
probably not the best place to start, but I'm gonna go in. Oh, this is cool. This is really nice in here. It's so cozy. Like with all the beds. Ang angling the beds to make a nice couch. Lovely. Using the Merkmeyer sarcophagus here. Lovely fire pit. And cook on it. Stick keeps the room warm. Just a lot of cozy comforts in here. Oh no, a cow, cow hide up there. Oh no, oh no. So with all the dead cows. Respect. A rip. I like this, the solitude carpets up on the wall too. They just have a really great texture. So this entire structure, this entire structure, by the way, has been built from scratch. So it looks like, is that the edge of the greenhouse? Are we in a greenhouse? I think we might be in a greenhouse. No, how could I got, have gotten through the side? No, we. this is all custom. That's all, those are display cases. Um, man, yeah, this is all, this is all built piece by piece. Yeah, it's all display cases. Uh, oh, man, man, just nice cozy reading spot to get away to. Oh, I love this. I can't actually sit in them, apparently. Oh, no. <laughs> That's fine. Lovely look. Okay, and more to see. Go down this way, I think. It feel like a Nord, ho Nord home. Oh, where it says I want to move in. It looks so cozy. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, I miss, I miss this sort of uh, lodging. I don't see anything like this in North Carolina. Oh, that's a great use of the Nord big canopy bed. I think it might be the sleigh bed. It's either that or the canopy, but canopy bed. With the felucca, with a cart. Let's get this lovely Nord style cozy raft. It's like a little bit of like a love boat. It's cute, super cute. And, oh, we got some drinks out here too. Love the rustic style. Lovely use of the windows using uh, some of the big mirrors. I think those are Breton mirrors. Plus the edge of a wine rack gives it that lattice look. So makes a great big window or it catches the sunlight there. Canopy on the canoe is a great touch. Yeah, I know, I know. So many amazing details. Mm, let's see, going up to the mill. Sawmill. Oh, that explains the split wood over there. Okay, we have a sawmill. Load up the log, send it on down, and the, the other way, <laughs> send it this way, and split it. Oh, this is cool. Put use of the big hacker shape hooks up above. Has a Skyrim feel to it. Is that, is that right? Feels like Riverwood. Okay. How did she make this wheel? It's just a ton and ton and ton of troughs <laughs> with the statue base in the middle. Ah, super, super well thought out. Okay, this is this is an amazing build. Oh man. I like how it has uh, pine trees and kind of other scene settings just kind of scattered about. Oh! The gate over this way. It's like we have a barrow for Nord. Makes sense. Can I, I might actually be able to go in here. It's a big gate. Oh, poor, poor horses. Can they breathe in there? I guess they can. Yeah, they can. Good. <laughs> Must be some dangerous horses. 
Let's uh, keep this, keep them locked behind this gate. <laughs> Fun stable. It's a little bit of an overkill, but <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's awesome. I know. I know. I'm, I'm super impressed. It's just like perfect arch architecture. Okay, fun build. Oh, and there's a little shrine across the waterway. I can actually get over there, apparently. Make sure trolls don't eat them. Well, I guess it's for the horse's own protection, right? That makes sense. It's dragger proof. You have to think about these things. Good point, good point. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This might be like a viewpoint. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Look at that. That look awesome. I think that looks amazing. It's just like takes you to a different place. This is like peak peak ESO housing right here. Okay, good deal. So good, so good. I know. <laughs> okay. We'll keep moving along. We have lots more houses to see. We have another from Swankery. I said to use magic carpet to view this. I'll have to go see if that will work very well. Okay. Wait, there's an upstairs? I I went upstairs. I hope I didn't miss a main floor. I might have missed a main floor. <laughs> I don't know. Now look through the window. That was your Nord screenshot. Oh, oh, what was? I... Wow. <laughs> there are a lot of good entries for that. Um... Okay, up next, you said... Oh, we have... Oh, I see, I see. Swankery has a wee vamp house up there. Just way up, way up. Swankery, how do you do things the way that you do them? Oh, that was... Oh, Patreon pledge. Thank you. Thank you so much. That helps a lot. Yeah, we do have a Patreon set up. Lots of perks with that. Golden Moo newsletter... Lore book readings, other goodies. Okay, I'm gonna magic carpet my way up. I hope this works. Oh, um, how do I just make it use the grate here? Uh, how do I just make it? I thought it was supposed to auto pick it. Uh oh, uh oh. Come on, this is magic carpet add-on. Well, let me explore this place. I don't remember the name. I thought it was supposed to auto-do it for me. Is there a way to force it to do it? Mm -mm. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Scuttle, scope room, room is fun. Oh, I don't remember the, I don't remember the name of it is the problem. I'm looking in I'm looking at the wrong place. Did I go past it? I think I went past it. Oh no, I went past it. I'm looking for the one the one thing. There's so many. Yeah, if you want to mess around with magic carpet, fly around on different types of things. You you have to have different particular things in your house. There this is one. This one. There we go. Show you those cheese grater. There we go. I went past it. There we go. Now I can fly around. Okay, good. The cool thing about this is as you move, it's using the editor, because I have decorator permissions, to constantly be moving the furnishing underneath you, so you can kind of like fake fly here. Okay, good deal. Okay, cheese grater. Ooh, wee little vampire house up in the sky. Hmm. For no reason in particular, I'm thinking about Swankery, Swankery, big with Divine Design Alliance Guild. They have, they are having an amazing contest in a couple weeks, the NSFW contest. I sadly won't be able to tour those on stream, but should be fun for those that participate. I have no, I have no reason to have brought that up just now. Let's see. Oh, this is fun. We we little vamp house. It's a lot of vines. Oh, I like how it, like actually has like a pathway here. Should I, like, dismount here and, like, explore it? Pro I can't actually get into it, right? No, no, no. Okay, so... What's going on with this? It's it's just such a lovely pathway with all the kind of, like, 
mushrooms and fly traps and all the fun stuff. Don't dismount. Okay. <laughs> I see that. Grave graveyards. I love how you've used the big Daedric bases up there because it ends up making it very spiky. A little bit more intimidating that way man just the way that you've done this is very like three-dimensional like you, you go all the way around it and it looks you see different things from every single angle <laughs> the coffin for a door i love it i love it wicked builds i know tim burton style yeah yeah it has a bit of that that style to it like asymmetrical kind of like not really viable for actually existing in the world right it's like maybe maybe it kind of could work but it's, it's a little sketchy to have have a wing of your house kind of jutting up there right so it's very kind of whimsical that way Coraline house oh yeah a little, a little bit of that this is awesome let me get a little closer look at the porch and everything oh this is so good I love that the top floor is shaped like a coffin for a vampire. Yeah, the, the entire shape of it is kind of like a coffin shape, too. Okay, yeah, a wee little vampire house. Spikes on the top so the crows don't get too comfortable. <laughs> the the uh, top shingles here are, are the coffin lids. They're perfect, perfect. Super clever. It's, it's awesome, isn't it? And the great's going to be sometimes in the way for a picture. Okay, let me... Oh, man. So good. So good. So bright. I'm pretty impressed. What did you do to actually make it light up? I see various vamp vampire lights the square ones kind of embedded throughout it that seems to make sense okay awesome you know richard says i love it not all vampires live in bastions yeah it's just a small little practical place that you could f fly up to i hadn't really made that connection yet it's a magical floating rock. Vampire could fly up to it, right? <laughs> How did I not... Okay, perfect, perfect. Glowing window with those lanterns is genius. Oh yeah, looks looks great. Yeah, that's a lot of vile coagulant went into this too. <laughs> not that there's much out there. Okay, and I will uh, move on to the next one. Let me let me not fall to my death. Not falling to my death would be a good idea. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll keep moving along to the next house. Thank you so much, Swankery. Beautiful houses. So creative. How many pieces? I, I showed 458 out of 700 on that one. We house. There might have been other stuff in the house. I'm not entirely sure. Ari says, Swank's houses are such treats. I know, I know. Thank you again. Thank you again. Okay, continuing along, we have Pollywagets Autumn's Gate. Pollywagets said that they had a... A party, a party. Let's see what the party is about. We have some antiquities out here in the courtyard. Various antiquities. Ooh, a little chill place here with an alien light well. Hmm, cute. Ah, oh, it's our dutiful guar. We're going to have a dutiful guar contest in about two weeks. Alright, so pretty good showcase of a lot of the antiquities. I like how this is just like basically just antiquities. The one from Cold Harbor, Stone Falls, uh, Stormhaven. 
Bully Croc. This kind of makes a good scene, just using a couple of those, right? And we'll head into the party. Let's see what type of party it is. Seems pretty serious out in the courtyard. Is it gonna be serious inside? We'll... Oh, you're here. Oh, It's a... It's a party. It's an Elfique party. Probably will get this here. Wait, can I... Can I Eleanor promenade with you? I've never got this to work right. Well, I've never tried. Um... When would I start? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I guess our party's starting. I'll just dance by myself here. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. So we have an Elfeek party with Antiquities. Dance with me. Dance with me, Polly. Dance with me before the Elfeek eat, eat us. Oh, there's like all sorts of Antiquities here. Fun. Supposedly there's a way to line it up where you like, actually swing around together. At least that's what people told me. <laughs> oh, it nearly, it nearly kind of... Sometimes. I think you'd have to time it just right. Anyway, I don't know if it works. Wait, I missed the other side? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me go do that. B -bop. Oh, hora, what the follow? Oh, I missed this side. Oh! Yeah, we had um, come here and looked at this for the... This is the St. Alessia Paravant statue for the... An Unique Antiquity Contest. You had everything else blocked off at that point, though. Um... Fun, 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 fun. It's kind of like a very artsy display here. Okay, going inside. Let's uh, let's go join the party. Alien school now. I noticed that. I went back to take a screenshot, um, and I was like, oh no, there's another antiquity there. So I had to use what I already had. <laughs> uh, a little funny story that you never would have known. Um, one yo's fungi. Let's follow. Beautiful. All so this is definitely fungi. You're a fungi. I bet you're a fungi. Lots of antiquities on display. Ooh, the sea serpent makes a fun little like sconce here. Ooh, I really like that. It's like a tiny little twist on it. Oh, I, I missed it on the other side. Okay, then we have our Alfeek party. Can I can I come and be an Alfeek for, for a day? Well, let me see. Again, again, your level. Uh, uh, kinda. Hello, little furry friends. Kinda stepping in your food. I hope that's okay. Fish coming up later. Ah, another Scots this way. Oh, wait, I see what you've done. So you've used all these fun antiquities. It's like places for the cats to climb up on. <laughs> okay, all sorts of fun stuff here. Heavy metal rocker with a follow. Thank you. Welcome to our housing hike. We are in Pollywagget's Alfique party right now. Ooh, we, ooh, what a party. What a feast. All the fish. Kebabs, sausages, pies, a rotating... Wow, that's... Looks cool. With all the drinks. Electrified drinks. Good energy going on. It's using the spell scar shard. <laughs> With the lightning. Electrified drinks. Elfique furball. Like how lightning color is the same as a star chart. Yeah, that's true. That's the same. Okay, fun little table. Good to see these spell scar shards being used in a creative way. Uh, I think it was Kalileo who used the upside down spell scar shards to make a awesome vampire painting. Um, yeah, clever, clever repurposing of um, like a fun table that way. Okay, I missed something out in the courtyard. Oh yeah, chalices are too. The uh, Ease Grimoire Chalice. Yeah, so kind of using a lot of the antiquities in creative ways. Like here's a one from Merkmeyer. Just makes a good display stand there. Okay, I think, I think, 
That'll be about it. Thank you so much. There are lights embedded everywhere. Yeah, that makes everything more bright, right? Lighting is super, super important for housing because otherwise the houses are super, super dark, especially at night. So <laughs> look, at, look at your house at night and see if there are dark patches. And then you can oftentimes either add, add different lights or sink them into the ground if they're too annoying. Okay, lighting effects, EHT. Uh, I don't think there's any. There's nothing EHT in here. Yeah, this is all vanilla. Yeah, that's one cool thing about a lot of the antiquities is that they have these kind of cool effects like this. Very lively. Okay, and I gotta keep moving along. Thank you, Paul, I get for the invite. Is this game only third person? You can go in first person. You can do this. There's quite a few camera controls. You can't totally unlock the camera and just fly around wherever, but... You can offset it different ways, zoom in, whatever. I try to get good screenshots as I go through using those. Okay, and next up, I'd love a free camera mode. Okay, next up, or growls. Oh, I missed the foxes. Oh, that's okay. God, God, keep moving along. Uh, or growls, Hall of Lunar Champion. Thank you again, Polly. Can play in first person. No, no, first person play is not recommended for you so i mean unless that's what you really want uh, you're, you're going to be missing a lot of threats you usually you're just not going to have good vision of everything out there okay or growls hall of the lunar champion oh, wait you have you have friends you have friends hey <laughs> no fair okay what do we have here hall of the lunar champion house that you can unlock if you have elsewhere you do the storyline there you unlock the different wings of it so it's a fun one to unlock and then i believe that war Growl actually decorated all the wings of this they spent some extra time to make sure that they could do all the wings okay so let's go go explore this lots of different rooms kind of breaking it up what do we have here lots of antiquities on display People were complaining about how this one's so so hard to get from the uh, dailies in Barnfell. Anyway, looking good, looking good. We have cloth merchant of some sort. Flowers are up at the luxury vendor. Okay, good. We'll be doing some prizes for those for Twitch chat at the end. Oh wow, this is so colorful. Hell the bats. That's a new fun. Vampire statue. <laughs> it's just like all, all here just to frame the alchemy station. I love that. Oh, it's like coming through a portal. Wow, that's awesome! It's using the void, void crystal anomalies with, with the pool there. Very, like, forcefully coming through the portal, like it's breaking through a barrier. Kind of has that dark energy with the pulsing dark energy with the void crystal anomalies. And those are cool. Yeah, I definitely like that people are coming up with creative ways of using the antiquities. Um, I actually had a contest a bit back. Details of that, um, the results of that are up on my website. And unique antiquity. Lots of crazy creative things with that. Man, I had so many, so many great entries for that contest. Okay, just taking that in. That looks awesome. Glowing eyes are part of the statue. I think so. I think that's right. Batblooms. Um, I don't see Batblooms. The pur purple lights are from, like, the crown store from the Mafala pack. <laughs> this could be Batblooms sinking in the, uh, tower in that. Okay, uh, more to see, more to see. Okay, can't get too distracted. Forge. Using Brazier. Cool. Horse is coming in. Hmm. Wait, wait, why are they signaling me? They want me to go... They want me to go this way first. Okay. I'll go this way first. Ah, spider! <laughs> I had to get 
right up next to the Yagra. Whoa, what is what is this? It really looks like arms. A big tower. On top of the font of Ariel. Oh, it's a dangerous place. Piles of skulls here. Sit upon the throne of death. Beautiful. Arena, it's an arena. It definitely feels like an arena. So come out here, have a match. Oh yeah, you have like stadium seating up here. That's cool. Have a good view of the carnage from up here. Awesome, awesome. Can I like go to the like waiting areas? Oh, I can go up, I can go up actually. What am I going up into? Oh, good view. You know how in some dungeons they have like the champion is up here and then they like jump down and that's like how you initiate the boss fight so I could be like, oh, you think you can take on the challenger? That first wave was just a taste. Here comes our true champion, and they jump down all heroic-like, and then they just die. Just like that. No, and then you start the boss fight. Why don't they take fall damage? I'm jealous, I'm jealous. Let me go back. Let me go back to the beginning. Awesome, awesome little shrine area. Okay, I'll go, I'll keep moving along. Yeah, impactful entrance. That's right. Okay, now what's through this other portal? What is this? We have a soul shriven welcoming in some horses. They're alive. They're not like necromantic horses. Hmm, sugar. Sugar for the horses, right? That's, that's just a pinch of sugar for the horse. Sure it is. Uh, I think I can go here. <laughs> Wait, no, wait, wait, wrong button, wrong button. Wait, I have to line it up just... There, there we go, there we go. <laughs> go through the portal. Where are we going to? Some sort of a mining operation? We're going to space! Oh my gosh. We're out in space. Space treasure. Seems like a ship exploded. <laughs> it kind of feels like there was an explosion. Maybe it's debris. It's a debris field. All your valuables are floating about. <laughs> Poor soul shriven. <laughs> oh, fun. Wait, can I go go in here? Oh, I can! What's in the ship? <laughs> My little horns. Oh, okay, we're in the ship. Oh, it's a, it's a seat. It's a seat. Oh, starship. I'll just control it with my mind. It will take me where I want. <laughs> I like how you place this just right so it replaces my head. So we have a Dwarven Centurion captaining the UFO here with horns. Beautiful. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Am I going to be totally stuck? Man, you did an awesome job with this, like, sci-fi control console with the uh, antiquities. The Cat's Eye Prism and the Aeliad 8-star chandelier. Tower of... Legion Zero Beacon? Oh no. <laughs> Fun stuff. Anyway, four four antiquities to put together to make this this Oh, and and the uh blue brazier bowl too. Man, five antiquities. Five antiquities to make this. They look really good together, don't they? I think that's awesome. Okay. Can I get out of here? Um, <laughs> I think I can't. Um, maybe, maybe if I hop in the right place, I can. I might, I might. Well, I guess I'm along for the ride then. Okay, good deal. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go back out. Wait, they got out. Hey. Maybe. Wait, 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 wait. If I hop right in the middle, maybe I can hop up enough. 
Uh, uh, not quite. Uh, okay, I'll just go back to the beginning. Okay, we're in space. In space. In a UFO. F5. F5 it is. Okay, next up. Ooh, Chandelier. Ooh, you're actually using, like, the middle part of it as, like, part of this. Using the Daedric Thrones. By the way, don't buy... Oh, well. They were on last week. <laughs> Hope nobody bought them for 25k each, because they were free at one point. It's stupidly cheap on the guild traders. Anyway, fun thing, fun thing. Okay, where, where are we off to? Wait, what are we bringing in? Oh, this is, must be what the horses are bringing in. Ooh, I see that cow bust in there. Beautiful. Okay, go on. Wait, wait, I missed something. I missed something this way. Oh, all the friends are here. Hello. Oh, I missed this this way. We have a... Oh. Just a nice relaxing place. I need a bath. So, am I desecrating anything by going in here? I hope I am. Okay, there we go. Got all that, you know, space dust. Might be a little bit more. Spa, spa area. Oh, it's a sexy look. Oh, oh no, uh, I'm intruding a little bit. <laughs> Why am I watching people bathe? That's fine, that's fine. Oh, just to by the way, because it reminds me every single time. If, if, if anybody from Zosta Development Team happens to be watching... Hi, first of all. Please do something about the underwear. It's all the same color, and it's just totally immersion-breaking. I... Every time I see the underwear, the kind of black-gray undies, I'm like, what What sort of a Daedric trick is this that causes people to all wear the same undies? Anyway, underwear dying. It will save the game. No, it will, it will hit 20 million, view, 20 million players in no time. 20 million. No time, if, just with underwear dying. That's the one thing ESO lacks right now. Everything else is perfect, just, just the undies. Anyway, every time, every time... <laughs> I'm intruding, continues to watch. Well, I had to take in, like, how they did the Yalner Fountain and everything, right? Okay, oh, where are we going up into? Ah, it's all grabby. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, I have... A little cave. Wait, where are we... Where am I? Can I get through here? Wait, there's a... Oh, this is the Lion's Cradle. This is the Lion's Cradle. Wow. Um, I even forgot where I was. So we're in the Lion's Cradle of the Hall of the Lunar Champion. This twists you up, and then you go into the building here. Very secretively. I actually can't... Oh, why is Magic Carpet saying stuff in the background? No, Magic Carpet, stop saying that. <laughs> um... I think it's because I died. Oh no. Um, there's a way in. Oh wait, wait, I missed it. There's a secret, secret little door. Secret little door. Oh no, I missed it. I missed the entryway. Uh oh. Mm, I have to angle this just right to get in the secret door. Oh no. Maybe you can come out and show me again. <laughs> at the painting, look up. Wait, at the painting, look up. Trying to get in. this is a super secret. Wait, oh right, wait. Huh? Uh huh? I haven't even seen it flash yet is the problem. I should at some point flash saying Lion's Cradle. Uh oh. Mmm too close, too far away. Uh oh, uh oh. Slower movements. I got, I got it. I don't know. I was looking at this crack. Why? Mm, maybe if I crouch down. Oh, 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 I got it. I got it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, got it. Okay, good. We're good. Okay, what, what's... Better be worth it. What do we have here? We have a... Oh, what is this? Oh. I'm gonna get my fortune told or something. Oh, I'll take a seat. Tell me, oh mystic one. 
What is in my future? Snakes are gonna follow me. What? No! Ooh, it's really creepy with a doll, doll face. Anyway, love it, love it. <laughs> Man, this is super creepy. Um, it's very personal, isn't it? It feels, it feels like it's just like this. Something's going down here. Okay, future, what what did they tell me my future was? My future is, I'm gonna see more houses! Oh my gosh, how did they know? Let's uh, keep going, let's keep going. Thank you, Orgrel. Fun house, fun house. Fully decorated. Did a good job with each of the wings. Fun stuff. <laughs> okay, I gotta keep moving along. Uh, more houses to see tonight. We're going to go to Lil Fox's Grand Cedric Villa. Now, this is part of an ongoing guild event that they've been going through with the Magi Academy Guild. They do role-playing and they do expeditions. This is their finale here. And so there are some alien researchers and we'll go look for them. Okay. So we have an expedition. So kind of like making a kind of delve in a different area. So this is, does this look familiar? It's all glassy, glassy green look. Okay, let's through the gate. Alien gates there. We have Very snowy place. Now, they called this a a pocket realm of or the pocket of the Nexus. I'm unfortunately not super familiar with that with what that means, but the Nexus, if that means something to yeah, I don't know if we've actually engaged it yet. Very otherworldly. Yes, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a I think a different like Daedric plane. Anyway, this looks cool. What's with the dead bird? <laughs> I don't know. Why is there a dead bird? Maybe that's an ominous sign in the snow. Okay, the expedition. Expedition. We're looking for our alien researchers. Maybe we can save them. Uh-oh. Maybe not. Oh, I think we found our researchers. Uh-oh. Oh no, little Endrick. Endrick, can you help me escape here? Endrick is like, oh yes, I needed a third sacrifice. Oh no. <laughs> I think I got stuck. Yeah, I think I got stuck here. Needle Rooster says, my mind goes to Nexus and wow, but I'm not sure that's a reference. I don't, I don't think so. I'm not sure what the reference is, actually. Nexus is... something I'm not familiar with. It's kind of a cold harbory feel to it. Mm. Fill me in on Nexus lore, if, if you know it, if you're in Twitch chat right now. Dwarven puzzle? Yeah, the Dwarven puzzle is great there. Okay, it's kind of taking in the scene. It's awesome. I love how things are kind of like not all perfectly lined up. Like some of these altars have been toppled. Maybe a sign of time or a struggle or strange things coming through here. Mm. Nexus was, a, was an ethereal paradise in Star Trek. Don't think, don't think that's what it is. Uh, maybe can Cannibal with a follow. I don't know. I don't know. Al Almug. Okay, good deal, good deal. Looking, looking good. Is this like the end? Or is it like go through? Or is there any escape here? Oh, I don't know. Probably not. Hmm. 
secret behind the bookcase. No, I think I think this will do it. Kind of serene in this gloomy place. Well, yeah, it's eerily peaceful. It's it's a weird feel to it. It's dangerously still, if anything. Kind of like a looming threat. Hmm. No, okay, okay. I mean, no, I, I'm pretty sure it's tied down in ESO lore. I'm just not super sure, because that's, that's how all the other role-playing expeditions have gone. I need to buy from Magi Academy here that can fill us in. Let me know, let me know. Okay, anyway, we'll keep moving along. Fun fun place, things, things to explore. They, they take things at a very slow pace and are very detailed with everything with their role-playing. Um, going and making discoveries. Okay. Skyrim lore? Was it not? Nobody knows it, though. <laughs> I think I think so. Okay, we'll keep going along. Thank you, Little Fox. Thank you. Beautiful plays. Done a great job of making it feel very eerie. Okay, continuing along... We'll have five houses to get to. We have Moon Sugar Meadow. Moon Sugar Meadow. Okay. I told me that I, if I see glass, I should put my nose up against it. So I'll be on the lookout for some glass. Okay. Moon Sugar Meadow. Big open place. Can do a lot with it. It's what Swankery had put the Nord house in earlier. Okay, what has Marley Bear put in the... Oh, I, I think I... They said that it was a crafting area. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit different. A little bit different. So, it's kind of a nice, serene pathway here. With all the wisteria. Merkmire bottles hanging there. Gives it a little bit more atmosphere and brightness. And then we get to a very odd structure. We get to a crafting thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. It's it's every every single one of these is going to be a different crafting area. So we'll go we'll go and explore that. Otherwise, oh we have fish. We got we got one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have. Okay, so we'll start with our. Provisioning station? Can I use it as a provisioning station? Oh no, I can't. Mm. I want to cook. I want to cook something. I guess the uh, climbing mount here will cook for us. I could put that final perfect char on it, right? Okay. Oh, this is cool with a hanger. I like the pots hanging down. Pan. This one's a pan. You can put some incense or sensors down into your grill and then it makes the smoke come up or steam come up and looks like looks like things are very active in cooking there. It's perfect. Nice hot potato or some steaks there. Cleaning up the dishes afterwards. <laughs> Sinking in some bubbles in there so it looks all soapy. Jaguar, that's right. Oh man, that sounds that sounds like a great chain, Charguar. Okay, so we have our blacksmithing area. Blacksmithing area. The forge. Dark elf pinnacles. By the way, by the way. I keep trying I okay, I ha I have a little distraction. A little I'm mad at people. Okay. If you're just getting into housing, there's one thing you need to know no. no. Um There is something called the Dark Elf Bed of Coals that comes from the Kragen Home. If you go buy Kragen Home, go do it right now. If you don't own Kragen Home, it's 69,000 gold to buy it unfurnished. It comes with this one furnishing, which is right here. And it's selling for like 140,000 gold per piece. So you can go buy the house, Kragen Home, get these coals. You can either use the coals, which is 
cool, or you can sell them and, like, double up your money. So, you have no excuse not to go buy Dragon Home. Go do it right now. If or take a note and do it as soon as you can. <laughs> anyway, um, the market needs more of these coals. They're super popular. Anyway, you'd buy it again if you could. Buy it with gold, not crowns. Yeah, you have to buy it unfurnished with gold or it's not tradable. But yeah, you can actually make some coin in the process and get yourself a nice house. Good starter, starting house. It's my number one, my number one housing recommendation. I made a super embarrassing video trying to promote that, but apparently it wasn't, didn't, didn't spread enough to get the word out. <laughs> anyway, um... Okay, oh, PSA, PSA, buy Kragan Home, you have no excuse not to. Um, I was always, like, a little tepid about it. It's like, oh, is, is the market going to crash on those if too many people buy it? No, no there's, like, infinite demand for them. Go ahead and do it. Um, oh, we have, like, a little sewing machine. Oh, this is super clever. Oh, I love it. Little trinket boxes, spool being fed in there. Putting a nice edge on this. How did you make these scissors? Did you use a couple of spoons? Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. Little fabric scissors. Or a little pincushion. Do you see a little pincushion? A little apple. Like little forks sticking out of it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. My PSA convinced me to get it a couple weeks ago. Okay, good. Yeah, crack at home. 69,000 gold unfurnished. No joke, no joke. Maybe people don't think it's like 69,000 gold. Do I heart paw in our life? No, go buy it, go buy it. Um, so, each guar commanding a different crafting area. We have jewelry, a little bit more fancy here. So, we have all sorts of ornate work. All, all the dogs, all the dogs. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. More fancy little jewelry pieces, little like brace, bracelets. Crown using the top of the gilded halalalu vase. Okay, cool. And more little things on display. Jewelry crafting is all about the fine details there, right? So calipers and everything like that makes sense. Sean the Rock says, oh, more of them. Aldvalothi, Autumn's Gate. Yeah, those are, those are other good ones. Amaya Lake Lodge is another good one. It's a little pricier, but it comes with a lot of weird, good furnishings. Okay, and our woodworking up top. Oh, this is cool. So every different, every different craft is represented here. Doing good work. <laughs> I guess the implication here is it's just layered with sawdust. That's what all these different hay piles are for. That's, that's actually kind of cool. I like it. I like it. Imperious Rex 21 with Apollo. Thank you. Welcome to our housing hike. Throwing some houses on PCNA right now. Oh, and enchanting, enchanting. A bit more magical, colorful. All oh, the floating books. Magical. Oh, this is fun. Maya comes with nice well in the shed. Yeah, those are valuable. I don't know if you'll make your gold back on those, but you'll get close. And then we have our alchemy up here. Fun place. I like how I have, you know, all the guards up through the tower. <laughs> okay, so ending up in the greenhouse with the alchemy lab. Okay, really fun. Guar tower. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. They said to press press my nose against the glass that, to see an experiment. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Where? Well, which direction? This direction? I'll check all four directions. Hmm. 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 Where might it be? I hope it's not this. I don't know. <laughs> um. Wait here. Oh, there it is. I think this is what they meant. Oh no! They tried to imbue themselves with crystal magic or something, and they died. Oh no! Sad, sad cow noises. Okay, beautiful. Um, <laughs> it's great. Floating books, yeah, floating books are fun. These Merkmire spade leaves, you can get these from the 
Home Goods Furniture in Merkmeyer. They're, they're a great pickup. They're stupidly cheap. I love the color on them. One of my favorites. Yeah, there are actually a lot of... Well, they actually have Sidgwick books that actually like float a bit too, but in, in this case it's just a little bit more... As you move, they kind of move. Okay, and we will continue along. Thank you so much, Marley Bear. Fun, fun crafting tower. Okay, next up. Last bargain. Last bargain didn't work too well. Maybe they didn't have their calculations just right. Gotta hit them books. Okay, Ivory Crows. Up next. Or no. I skipped it. We'll, we'll go to Cal... Wait, wait, let me make sure I'm in the right one. <laughs> I clicked the wrong button. I clicked the wrong button. Oh, no. We'll go back to Ivory Crows afterwards. Let me let me go to uh, Calities uh, while I'm here. Mm, good deal. Okay, Calities has a Elner Crest townhouse. Of this house. Sorry about that. <laughs> you're like talking about. Oh, oh, you're even here. I'm sorry. Anyway, it's fine. I'll get back to you. Ah, oh, we have Fizez and Azabi, the bankers, the merchants. All the golds, all the golds. One place. Music box helps with the uh, tone here a bit. A bit more inviting feel to it. Oh, we have a feast. What do we have? We have breads and meats and soups and full course meals. Good stuff. Good stuff. Inviting fireplace as well. Like a fun, fun place to entertain guests. Ooh, we have like a, oh, magical, magical library. Also kind of oddities about. Kind of has a bit of a museum type of a feel to it. Or kind of like a magical research room here. With all the books there. Kind of map things out. Study things from ancient history. Harry Potter inspired. Was Harry Potter like the only thing to do floating candles? I guess it's kind of like a bit more ubiquitous now, but... It worked pretty well for lighting up the space. <laughs> Gotta say, it's great. Um... Okay, and continuing up. And up and up. More things on display. Stop and play game. Not only a very social area, like different places for guests to come and seclude themselves. Bedroom up above. Seem to have a little bit of a cat theme throughout this, too. No, at least have their cute little yarn balls. Forbidden tomes in the cases. Oh, I see, I see. I'm glad, I'm glad that they're sealed up in the display cases. Ah, all the cats. <laughs> can I read those through the glass? I don't think I can. Okay, makes sense. That's why they're forbidden. Okay. Oh, more more forbidden tomes. Magical place. So we had the accessible books in the, in the shelves, and then they have the forbidden ones sealed away. All the divines being represented here. It's a cool way to display it with the uh, altar in the middle. Magnus taking center stage. I like it. Just kind of very subtle lighting with the little lamps there. Okay, I'm going out into the courtyard. Lucky cats. I know. It's a nice, nice homey feel in here. Ooh. Mysterious. Look at garden weight. Of these ginkgo trees, they have the petals that fall off of them. 
usually gives places a nice peaceful look. Very, very alive. Okay, fountain over this way. All the colors, all the purples, blues, kind of tie this all together. Lots of those Eleanor maples and the wisteria. Favorite trees? Ah, uh, they're pretty, aren't they? And, oh, lovely waterfall feature up here. It's a small everlasting waterfall. It's actually furnishing that you can place in your house. You can unlock that from Somerset Achievement Furniture. I had to do 30 quests for it. It's kind of a more challenging one to get. You might be able to get your friends or guildies to help share quests so you can get it faster. And, yeah, more fun open social places. Cool, cool. So Eleanor, Eleanor Crest Townhouse, kind of more of like a high elf feel. This, this kind of continues that, especially with the statues. Just a great space. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, they're 75 k each. They're expensive, but that's what it is for a lot of those high performance type of things. Also, Doll says, beautiful outdoor area. I know, I know. Okay, thank you, Kalati. It's beautiful home. Beautiful. Is there like a backstory for this? Like what character uses this space? It feels like a character build, considering there's kind of like themes throughout. Let me know if you want to fill me in. Okay. I will keep moving along. We'll go to Ivory Crows up next. I skipped. <laughs> Achievement furnishing is going to be pretty spendy. That's true, that's true. I had to wish you'd get like a discount the first time. That actually feels like you're celebrating your achievement. Anyway. Britain Sidgic Mage. Oh, okay. Sidgic feel throughout there and mage feel. Didn't really pick up on the Breton too much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have to go look again. Oh, Crimson Phoenix with the gifted stuff. Oh, thank you so much. Angry Space Mage. Make all the moo happiness happen. Thank you so much. Okay, Ivory Crow has... Yeah, I have backstory on this one. Let's go explore it. Ooh, it's all, like, ruined. What is this place? Looks like it can go to... Only the one wing, right? Yeah, okay. Only, only the one wing. Everything else is blocked off. Okay, what... What is through here? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Maybe expecting it to kind of continue to look like the inside. No, this is wow. This is uh, quite an endeavor, man. Look at this. Oh, it's gonna be all warped because of the light here. Oh, I can't even get it all in the screenshot. Oh man. Uh, that looks cool. Okay, what do we what do we have here? We have. Like a zen feel to it. Maybe Japanese inspired. I think so. Yeah, this is this is Ivory Crows. Ivory Crows Halls of Colossus in the Hall of Lunar Champion. I like how you kind of frame this between those columns that are built into the house. It's kind of look pretty structurally set there. Okay, so what do we have here? All these Hakushi banners make it kind of a happy place. Now we have is that Ivory Crow? Ivory Crow performing for us! Esraj. Beautiful, beautiful. What a fun place inside. Nice transformation. Yeah, so this has all been built up. So it's actually really crazy. Like, even the the floors here, the walls here, those have all been added piece by piece. Like, even, like, this, this door frame using some of those luxury pillars. 
It just feels very naturally set here. I think these are some bottoms of some of the corals from the uh, from these Somerset home goods furniture. Kind of a bit of more warped type of a rock structure. Okay, this is really, really good. Every says, fun fact, the walls are made of coral pieces. Ah, I <laughs> got ya. Oh, what? Wow, how did you do this? This is the Magnus Shrine up there. Always fun just to see, like, kind of how you can use just bits and pieces of the furnishings just to kind of add the textures that you want. Okay, and we have tea. And we'll go outside. Outside, probably overlooking the water over here. Oh, it is, it is. Oh, with the lantern stuff up there. Oh, very active. You even have the big boat out there. Gosh. <laughs> I need to I need to go earn that dang boat. It's from the, doing a... Uh, Kind's Ages Trial. I love the, the flower arrangement here. Just good, good basket. Good color choices there. Love it. We had a flower arrangement contest in April. Ah. I tend to have contests about things that I like. <laughs> it's like I want, I want people to make some cool flower arrangements, and they they delivered. So I'm I'm happy to see the things like this just out in the wild too. Oh yeah, there's there's the other side of the coral. That looks good. Ah, more flowers. Awesome, awesome. Okay, it looks like we can go down to the water. Like the toilets. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I that's also just kind of a thing. It's like I don't think that this is represented enough in ESO. It's like let's have a toilet contest. <laughs> make make it make it happen. So we did that too. Apparently, I think ESO is missing fashionable guars. That's my contest this month. Anyway, um, it's true, it's true. People don't decorate their pets or statues up enough. People used to do that more. What's, what happened to, what happened to dressing up your statues? Anyway, oh, a little statuette display here. That's cool, that's cool. Using the, uh, couple antiquity furnishings in there as well. Moth priest cleansing bowl over on the side. The blessed dais of Almalexia in the middle. That's a good look to it. Okay. Good try and add. We're out at the water. Idle moments. Sean the Rock says, Terry was talking about l loving potted plants recently. It looks great. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Do you and Storm have flower arrangements in your place? No. <laughs> who, who can keep keep up with those? As a rare treat, uh, about a week ago, I bought some... I bought some flowers at the market, though. That's cool, because like every every other day another one would open up. So they're nearly dead now, but they they were good for for a bit. Okay, looking good. Love the reflections in the water. Yeah, the lanterns out on the water are really nice touch there too. Oh, invisible walls here. I was going to try to jump in the boat. Oh, no. I can get slaughter fished anyway. Need a rooster says that you're coming up on 12 months of ESO. Collected your statuette each month. Well, there would be... Well, they have lots of different statues. I mean... I guess I'll keep doing that. I'd be curious if they ever bring things back on a rotation. It's very possible that there are certain things that have been introduced in ESO that will never come back. So, kind of like how if you missed out 
on the anniversary cakes. You couldn't get them again. I maybe wonder if that was intentional. It makes me wonder if there are things like that out that are tradable now, like style pages and room boxes that maybe they never were planning on bringing back. Anyway, that's a thing to worry about. <laughs> um, yeah, a repeat statuette. Yeah, I don't think they've done that. Maybe eventually they'll add them all to a bundle or something, but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe they want to keep things exclusive. Be like, yeah, gotta get it or you're gonna miss it forever. I don't know. Love the courtyard here. Oh man, this is amazing space. Uh, thank you, Ivory Crow. Thank you for the invite. This is probably one of our favorite builds so far. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Do you have other others that are like on par? <laughs> this is this is this is astounding. Okay, good 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 deal. Uh, thank you, Ivory Crow. We'll keep moving along. We have two left. Two left. We have Tars's barbed hook up next. They were a little funny. They were a little funny. I'm going to embarrass myself and them. Um, they're like, I know it's a small house, but I have a fresh fish shop, and I want you to come see it. Um, anyway, they're like very apologetic about it being a small barbed hook. I love small houses. They're great for the housing hike, so don't don't be afraid to uh, enter your small houses because it's just like you get to just go in to like the one room, take it all in, and then you can move on and see lots of them, right? Lots of different styles. I like seeing lots of different styles during the housing hike. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you said fresh fish. Um, you're a lion here. This is cool. Roy PD with a follow. Thank you. I have our Merkmeyer bass there. Oh, it's like a little aquarium. It's like all the sunken treasure. Oh, this is... Those are big fish for that tank. Anyway, um... It's cool. I like the treasure pile. More fresh fish. Are these for eating? I mean, they're, they're presented very well. Or are they more for, like, take home and put in your own aquarium? Cute little fishes there. The color, yeah, the colors just says, like, it pops. That was the very first thing I saw, too. Um, it's like all the corals. <laughs> a lot of these, check out the Somerset Achievement Furniture if you want to look at a lot of colorful, good stuff that you would make for a good aquarium. Um, display cases there for, for the glass. That looks great. Mud crab poking around in the clam looks fun the bit the big yellow corals here in the middle are from the alone brew vendor though okay and more more fish up above we have some salmon there are we like underwater <laughs> feels like it nearly we have some fresh clams oh how, how fresh is this let's see let's see oh that's quite a pearl. It's fun. You can hide things in these clams. You can hide them. So, special ruby dragon skull in there. I like to see things. Surprises. I'm all about surprises. Actually, um... L Little Fox has been working on some emotes for me. <laughs> about the uh, Jester's Coffer that you can open up. Um... Uh, how much I like the surprises. I sucker for surprise. Clam ate a tiny dragon. Oh yeah, it's just all that's left of it. Mmm. A zombie gonna saw us a fresh fish. How about this one? Is that your prize fish? Oh man, I want that one the most. Yeah, this is fun build. Looks great. Oh, by the way, how they get that ripply effect going on with the kind of the blue going on, that's from the Azure Plasm cage. You just kind of like sink that in somewhere and it will make this ripple effect. So it looks like we're underwater. Uh, that's all that furnishing Azure Plasm. Okay, all sorts of fresh fish. Oh, yeah, yeah. More of, okay, this is cool. Okay, we'll continue along. Thank you. Just a small... That's amazing. So, what you can do with 100 items. Crazy. Okay, last up. I have... FRK Myers. House of Streams. From the Housing Finest Builders Guild. Let me do the one they call Myers. You can follow right there. Twitch at 
twitch.tv slash the one they call Myers, M Y E R S. Fun streamer. Okay, you can go follow them there. And this will be our final house for tonight's PC in a housing hike. This has been fun. Then we'll do, we'll wrap up after this one and do some giveaways for Twitch. Myers. Myers is here. You are here. Awesome. Awesome. What do we, what do we have here? We have in the Ebonheart Chateau, big, big house. We have, okay, okay. A, this is part of a build a temple challenge, they said. And it's going to kind of showcase a, a conflict between the Dark Elves and the Ashlanders. And we'll find out, we'll find out as we tour through this, where Myers has their loyalties. <laughs> so, okay, here, here we go. So we have Dark Elf versus Ashlander in the Ebonheart Chateau. Seems to be appropriate with a big volcano in the background, too. Okay. They have a big, big barricade. Big uh, Dark Elf barricade. Oh, there's bandages. Oh, bloodiness everywhere. Oh, no. Okay, it's a siege. It's a, it's a battle. It's a war. It's... Oh, all the... What came through here that upended all these benches. Oh man. Something terrible. Okay, so dark dark elf encampment over this way. I'm glad that they have time to play a game every every now and then, keep their spirits up. Grab a bite to eat. Let's see. Oh well, we have an Ashlander food tray here. Mmm. <laughs> Maybe they stole that. Mmm. <laughs> Maybe. We have the Ashlander Yurt. Let's see. Who? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they made amends afterwards and they're sharing food and they're at peace now. Well, I don't know. Everything's still burning. Don't wait. I didn't notice something. Wait. I didn't, I didn't notice. Wait, 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 wait. What did I miss? And then we have. I'll keep. We'll keep looking. More clues on this one. Oh, I should have maybe looked at Myers and see, seen how they were dressed up too. Uh, ooh, some alien antiques here. Well done, storeroom. I don't think I can get into the tower. Good, good way of blocking it off. If you don't use a particular room in your house, be sure to block it off so people don't go wondering where they ought not to. Mmm. Mmm. Dark Elf Fountain's being all toppled over. Ashlander. Ashlander tent over this way. Looking pretty good. Seems not even very disturbed by the war. One of your dream homes. Nothing, nothing. I did... <laughs> Hmm. Who do you favor, Dark Elves or Ashlanders? It's a conflict. Let's see. We have ooh, gate. We're gauging the situation. I was like these maps. The uh, good antiquity maps there. Oh, is there a good view up here? A good view of... Oh. Fire of the lava. <laughs> well, cons considering that the entirety of the Ebonheart Chateau is burning here, I'm going to guess that they... I don't know. Maybe, maybe they are more Ashlander friendly. Let me, let me keep going along. Spent 400,000 gold on bonfires for this build. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. How, housing can get a little pricey that way. Oh, good use of these stones. Uh, yeah, these were on the luxury vendor a couple weeks back. Actually fun to see them being used here. Good triptych here. Love the display of this. Very well balanced. Good color scheme going on too. Oh, 
Okay, good. Good luck. Triptych is really nice. Yeah, that's a great focal point. Okay, going inside, I believe. Oh, all the books are all messy. <laughs> I love it, I love it. This is using the, the bottom of the towering bookcase pile. You just flip it upside down and sink it down, then you have the all the books are mess, messy like this. Fun way of doing it. Oh, all the dark elf sigils are falling down. Oh no. The gnarled ash flowers rise. I guess I'm getting the sense that Myers is more more of an Ashlander friend. But it depends, it depends. Are, are they are they saddened by the destruction of the Dark Elf Temple? Or or, or glad about it. <laughs> Man, the destruction here is just like chaos. I love it. I love it. Uh, can I get up there? I'm probably not supposed to go up there, right? Probably not supposed to. Probably not supposed to be hopping on the burning crates. Okay, I think, I think not. Living gods or false gods. <laughs> <laughs> and just the, the destruction here it's, it's hard to pull off a look like this and they've done a great job with it M melon balls with a follow thank you appreciate that welcome to our housing hike we're on our final house of tonight's housing hike this is our 12th house organized chaos must have taken a lot of time and thought right right man i even like this it's like the entirety of like the stair structure over roof is like falling apart oh, that's cool good job good job again you can follow Myers on Twitch or Housing Finance Builders Guild Great Guild on PCNA Myers represents them pretty well Space Mage says going to use one of your Dunmer houses as a Dark Brotherhood home <laughs> Hey, <laughs> yeah, I can always repurpose houses. However, however you want to do it. Barred fence with a necromancer gate. Mm. Oh, there's a there was a gate that was available from the the metal one, the spiky one that was available from the luxury vendor a bit back. This one over here. Actually, what is the rest of the gate? I guess it's a bottom of it. Is this, this is a spiked iron gate. This is also a spiked iron gate. <laughs> Just using the bottom of this, right? That's actually really clever. I, so it's using one, two, three, four, five of them. It's cool. It's actually a really cool effect. Okay, I think I think I saw everything. Let's see if I can get into the tower, but I don't think I can. Okay, good deal. Good deal, Myers. Or gate flipped. Yep. Okay, good. Uh, some guy says, Amazing homes, everyone. Thank you, Jay Hart, for including my home. Hope it was up to stuff. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me. Okay, we will we will wrap up here. And then for the VOD, we'll do some giveaways for Twitch chat after. Okay? We'll do some luxury giveaways like we always do. Oh, wrong. <laughs> no, I had to close that. <laughs> there we go. We'll... Uh, We'll wrap up here. Good place to end. Seems like a good place to end. Okay, good good backdrop. Okay, so thank you everybody. Uh, fun homes. Twelve homes tonight that we saw. Started with some wedding homes. We saw a beautiful Nord home and a wee vamp house, an Alfik party, and then more and more and more from there. <laughs> so thank you everybody. I'll put screenshots up on the website spicyeconomics.com. Uh, if you want some project ideas, good place to go. Or just if you want, if you miss out on these, want to see cool things people have been able to do, uh, great place to go. And this was streamed live at twitch.tv slash jharellis. Always welcome to join during live stream and do this, the hikes on Friday. We also do contest tours. And if you're watching on YouTube, do 
we upload a lot of things there too so please subscribe helps a lot and yeah we'll do another housing hack next week i'm excited i'm excited about stone Thorn, stone Thorn coming too as has fun things coming for housing okay so thank you everybody and things were fun have fun with housing have fun with eso and stay spicy move